Hello, it's Zoe here with another Healthy Bites. And today I wanted to come on and share with you my favorite recipe for a cucumber salad. Now this is super quick and easy, perfect for weeknights and perfect for the summer. This is a recipe I have used forever. I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to make it in your kitchen. You only need a couple ingredients that you hopefully have on hand. I know these are staples in my house that I always have. Um, and yeah, I wanted to say hello, welcome. Thanks so much for joining. Do be sure to tap the link in my bio and pick up your free ultimate yoga kickstart kit you'll either find it in my bio or around this video and you get four weeks of free yoga with me when I'm not uh, seven months pregnant <laughs> um, which is such an amazing amazing way to practice and I have been leaning on those practices because they are so gentle and so so wonderful um, there's also guided meditations in there and just so much to take care of your mental, physical, emotional, spiritual health to make sure you feel your absolute best. And like I said, it's free. So make sure you check that out. Let's get into it. The two vegetables that make up this salad are a cucumber. I prefer an English cucumber and red onion. Now, what I have here is called a mandolin. Um, these are very inexpensive but handy tools and basically it has different little fixtures that you put in here that help to make different slices or dices. Then you can also adjust the height of it as well. I like to use a mandolin to slice the cucumber so it all gets beautifully even. However, you could just use a regular chef knife and just work to slice it nice and thin if that is better for you. So make sure you do that. So all I'm gonna do with my mandolin, if you're not using a big cucumber, <laughs> let me just get my maturity on here. If you don't have a big cucumber and you're working with a smaller cucumber, then you'll wanna make sure that you use the guard so you don't cut yourself. But I've got a uh, good bit of space here today. <laughs> so all I'm doing is running this over the blade and it's making beautiful thin slices of cucumber. And I always start with this first because I have a little extra tip to make sure that your cucumber turns out perfect, your cucumber salad. So you are gonna place your beautiful cucumber in a sieve like this over a bowl. And then what we're gonna do is just put a little bit of sea salt on there. I've got pink Himalayan salt today. And what that's gonna do is draw out all the extra fluid out of your cucumber. And we wanna do that because that extra fluid can just make your salad a little bit watery. Um, and we really wanna get the taste of the beautiful dressing that we're gonna be making. So start with this first. I'm just gonna do about that much. See, like it makes the perfect thin, mmm, thin cucumber slices. Yum. Cucumber is such a good, healthy vegetable. They're all healthy, but. Okay, then I'm just gonna put a little bit of my sea salt on the cucumber, stir it around a little. I couldn't find my bigger sieve today, so I'm working with small one, a little bit more. And I'm just gonna leave that to sit over the bowl and it's naturally just gonna drain out a little bit of that cucumber juice just on its own. So like this, I sieve my bowl, set that to the side. Okay, now let's start working on our dressing. The dressing, I'm gonna be placing all of the ingredients inside this mason jar so it's easy to store and shake. And I can just use as much as I want and then save the rest. So I've got my jar. I have to follow, I do have this recipe written out because I don't have it memorized yet. So we're gonna use a quarter cup of rice vinegar. It is very high like a very kind of acidic vinegary dressing, but oh, it tastes so good. And I love rice vinegar. Then the oil that we're gonna use, we're only gonna use a half a teaspoon, but it is a toasted sesame oil. This one I've just decanted in here. 
So we're gonna do a half a teaspoon of oil going into our jar as well. Then we are gonna do some honey. If you wanted to make this vegan, I've also made this with agave. So you could just sub out agave to make it totally vegan. And we need one teaspoon of that. Wow, I'm throwing oil everywhere. One tablespoon, sorry. I will have this all written out for you as well. Of our honey. Then we're gonna add sesame seeds. These are just white sesame seeds. It calls for one teaspoon. I just eyeball it. I'm an eyeballer if you can't tell. And then it also calls for a quarter teaspoon of red pepper chili flakes. These add a little bit of spice and they are so, so tasty. So let's double check we've got everything. Sesame seeds, sesame oil, red pepper flakes, honey, rice vinegar, and it said a little bit of salt. So we'll add just a little smidge of salt in here too. Now I love making dressings inside a mason jar because as I said, you can just store it and come back to it, but it's also great for just shaking. Make sure you've got the lid on there good. <laughs> Give it a good shake and it'll emulsify everything together and make it a beautiful salad dressing really quick and easy. Okay, let's get this stuff out of the way. Now we gotta chop up a little bit of red onion. I just kind of do this, I just eyeball it to be honest and see how much I want for my cucumber. This I do want to slice nice and fine. And I like it in kind of like shreds like this, nice and long. It also adds that beautiful color. I'm gonna say that much is enough. Now, I am going to place my beautiful red onion inside a fresh, clean bowl. My cucumber has kind of been strained out a little bit. You can even press it down. Look at my big belly on my counter. Can you believe it? Oh my gosh. I have to get used to this belly all the time. I am like whacking my belly like I, when I go to wash dishes and stuff. <laughs> Okay, I probably should have had a spoon, but hey, it's a cooking show and I'm eating this myself. So I'm gonna get my hands in there and just stir up the beautiful cucumber, the slices of red onion. It's already got a bit of salt in there. Then I am going to add some dressing. I probably used about half. If you used an entire cucumber, I would suggest using all of the dressing that we made. We're gonna stir it up. We're gonna take a bite. It's gonna be so delicious. I need a fork. Let's get a fork. Oh, this is so good. And I love having this um, like on the side with like more of an Asian kind of dinner like a chicken stir fry. Look at it. It's so simple, but it's so good. Like I just, I can't tell you. I can't tell you how good it is. Chicken stir fry, pad thai, some fresh spring rolls. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's good. It needs a little more salt. This is why you have to taste your food. Always taste before you plate. It's a good excuse, but it makes a big difference. Oh. So I added a little more salt and a little more chili flakes. So really do taste it, make it to your liking, but it's got that beautiful balance that so many amazing um, Asian foods do of sweet, salty, savory, a little bit tart with the vinegar. And oh my goodness, it is just so beautiful, so delicious. I really do hope that you will give it a try. If you don't like onion, 
I saw somebody saying they don't eat onion. You could do radish, like you might like some sliced really fine radishes. I've done that in here, that is really good too. Um, and those kind of bitter foods are actually really, really good for us. So if you wanna leave out the red onion altogether, that's fine. Or try adding in red, um, what did I say? The radishes would be great. You could even do tomato if you wanted to. What else could you do? Red pepper. You could do red pepper as well. Really, it's totally customizable and you can make it however you like it. Oh, I'm overheating. I was rushing to blow dry my hair to get ready for this video tonight. But I hope that you truly enjoy it. <laughs> like I said, I am absolutely I am absolutely enjoying doing these Healthy Bites videos with you. They are, however, coming to an end um, because, yeah, I'm going to be shifting to doing a few more Real Talks with you guys, which are absolutely so, so fun. We take on different topics that we talk about together, kind of like girl talk time, um, and we're going to be shifting to that into August, which is surprisingly already next month. So thank you so, so much of jo for joining me. What I was trying to say is August is next week. <laughs> August is already next week. So next Wednesday, look forward to a real talk where we are gonna sit down and tackle a spicy topic together, get to know each other a little bit more and yeah. I, I have so much fun doing these lives with you. So thank you very, very much for joining me. Again, take advantage of the free Ultimate Yoga Kickstart Kit at the link in my bio or around this video. And I will see you again soon. Big hugs, lots of love, take care, bye-bye.